team <laughs> can actually do against a, a big one. Let's put it this one. One of the top five. Yeah, MVS, you could argue, recently has been a little on tilt, maybe some of their results. You know, not as consistent as they, they'd started to become. But they should be able to swiftly deal with Penta. This, this should be a very comfortable game for MVS. But then every game we've had today has been an upset so far. <laughs> so I think this is the one that's going to correct the balance. But we'll have to wait and find out. Already we are live into the pistol. T side is going to be Envious. CT side is going to be Penta. And it looks like it's going to be a B play to begin with. And well, it's going to be a lot of pressure about to come down towards Strux and Trubbly. And let's see if they can deal with it. Manages to get the smoke down, but they push straight on through that one. MBK does get taken down by Trubbly, but they're on site already. Trubbly gets himself a second. Can he make it a third? Tries to get that second USP shot on towards him. Wasn't quite there. Strux switches in. Happy comes into sight. And this attack has been stopped dead in its tracks. Great rotate from Penta, and great pistol work from Trubbly. Certainly was, and Crystal is so quick on that rotate. Shox tries to do what he can, it doesn't matter. Penta get round one, and that's a pistol going over to the CT side. Now, the one thing I wanted to point out then was how quick Crystal was at getting around Speedway, straight on point, they knew what was up, and it worked out <laughs> super well. Hello. We have a shotgun coming out. Okay, well, shotty for Stavros. Oh, and Trubbly as well. I... Wonder if they're going to try and get up close and personal in their faces down banana with this. Let's see where it takes it. Probably was on. Probably apps, I side. guess. Be. Yeah, it's got to be. You'd assume yeah, Crystal definitely is. He might even be boosted up here. But probably, sure. probably is not. Probably is on B. So okay, it's going to see where it works out for them. Quick rosters for you guys. You may be looking at this and thinking, this isn't Penta. This is what I'm like. What's going on here? They have had a roster reshuffle, and it is now Crystal, Stavros, Tabson, Trubbly, and Strux. For Penta, and of course, you know, MVS. It is Happy Smiths, Kiyoshima, MBK, and Shocks. Yeah, let's see if that uh, shotgun's going to do any damage. You can see Envious lining up, looking like he's going to be an A. Crystal's actually committed over towards B, so the fake plays paid off and then some, but will Envious commit? That's the big thing we want to see. Still a minute left. And Penta not going to look for anything here. They just want to sit in and try and let him come to them. Stavros gives away the game a little, but spots one out. But look at this. Straight wrap round towards CTR. It's going to be Crystal on the receiving end. Tabson flash himself in, but Crystal slowed them down. Keo gets a bit of a team kill going on, and Envious are being dealt with. But now, MBK can still break through. This could still change. But there we go. It's been dealt with. Trouble gets a kill. Happy's left on 4 HP, and I doubt this will really change around. Although, they're both shotgun players left, so if he gets them at range, he could, he could do some work here. Yeah, if he catches Trubbly from behind as well, but the thing is, he's looking this direction. They know they just went through Arch, See through TT range. spawn. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he, he only needs to clap, catch him with just a single pellet. He's on four hit points, but Happy manages to nail it. And that's actually going to be the bomb plant as well for Envious. All the money working out in their favor. And now Stavros on the retake. Let's see what he can do. P250 in hand, a single whiff of air. We'll catch him, but he's sitting in the smoke, and this That's might work. That's ballsy play. Really goddamn ballsy play. Oh, and he it. gets it. Happy. Nerves of steel to sit in that spot, just predicting it and just saying, all right, I'm going to wait here. When that smoke dissipates, I'm going to be in the right place. And it worked out. One to one. Envious turning it in round two. And well, looking at the buy that Penta went for in round two, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't like that Double sort of Double shotgun. Bit weird, that one, but... Hey, they're a mixed team. Normally you see that coming out when a team's really up against it or just, you know, okay, I need to try and just do something in apartments. But, yeah, good SMGs were available. You know damn well that TSM would have gone for those SMGs, but as it was, Penta said no. This time they've gone triple stack over on B site, but that's not where Team Envious are going. They've already managed to open up the top of mid. It is just pistols, of course, for Penta, but Envious already Ooh, starts to run through. Great spot. Almost got the kill then. I think that's towards Kia who got down to 32 HP. It could have been a big impact there, but not to be. And now down to the last three. Trubbly's going to find one. It's going to be shocked. He manages to pin out there. Gets himself the FAMAS. Backs away instantly. He's going to be happy to try and rescue that rival. Strux was like, where's the gun? <laughs> he stepped forward to the body. Not there. Just trying to get some tags through there. Not going to work out for them. That molly will stop that dead in its tracks and burn him out. Smith picks in that one on point crystal. And just the two remaining members of Penta are going to try and push on through. Strux just wants to get anything from it. Meanwhile, the FAMAS of Trubbly is long gone. And he's got himself covered off. So Envious pick themselves up the second round. As they try and hunt him out, I don't think they're going to find him. No, and they, they want to keep hold of the rifles and the head armor that's on Keo and Smith's as well. So... 
they'll, they'll, they'll be playing fairly cautious. You can see them, you know, not overextending towards B either, because probably could do a lot of damage. He doesn't have everything to lose. He doesn't have the head armor to save over, so you know, great for him to get away with the gun. But it wouldn't have been the end of the world for him if he went down. He still has 5.2k, so... That in mind now, we're going to see the reinvestment here from the CT side. So going to put themselves back into a buy. However, not ideal. Look at Crystal. No armor to be seen and nothing else by him. A full purchase into that orb. So hopefully he can do some impact because, well, if he doesn't, this team's going to be really, really screwed for money. It's going to be a peak down mid straight away. Oh, look that at this play towards B, though. That grenade from Trouble, he would have done well wonders. And he did catch Kiyoshima and Shox and MBK. MBK, though, has pushed ahead here. Going aggressive on towards site. Happy trying to keep... Crystal at bay. Smoke slowing things down. Five members of Team Envious, uh, sorry, four members of a Team Envious pushing up Banana. Seems to be the site that won. And Trouble is actually all alone here right now. So he has a hell of a lot to do here. And I'm, I'm looking at the structs. He doesn't have a smoke to help him out either. Like, there's no one that can even help him in this situation. He's going to be overwhelmed. No one from CT Arch could have thrown a smoke, so he didn't have any. And now it's retake time, and the four players of Penta are nowhere near them. And I think they may even just try and save this, just straight up. They no, not even go near it. Yep, and they're just going to go ahead to pit because there was no one there to help help them out. So was that just a stacked idea? That was just simply Pentagon. Okay, we're going to stack defense one. If it pays off, it pays off. The trouble you're on your own. If it doesn't work, then, well, we've not lost too much. We've kept hold of the rifles. Happy's the man that's going to try and look for them. Then not look in his direction. Yes, they are. Strux oh, comes around, shot. gets himself one, peeks out the side, gets himself a second. And this is completely now gone wrong for Penta. They tried to save. They tried to hold on to anything. And they've already lost two. Happy's freaking insane. Those shots are just beautiful. Crystal might be able to put him down. Fine. Beautiful <laughs> shot just done back as well. But still, Happy then taking two guns away. That's pretty big and important presence into the game. Look at the money they're left with. 2.6, 2.4. That's two players who really cannot reinvest into this round. So, big impact then just on those two kills. Yeah, he went down, but he's comfortable to buy back up. So, well worth going for that. And Envious, 3-1 now. Back back on track, you know, Penta, you know, now being kind of told to slow down. They're going to force themselves in here. So, they're still looking to pick this one up. Hoping maybe mm. Crystal can do some work, but he still doesn't even have armor. He might just going to try and flash over towards the bomb of mid and try and go for the peak off the back of it. It's not every day that you see four members alive and going for a save. It's uh, it's definitely a sign that Penta realized what they're up against in the form of Team Envious here, who honestly are one of the best teams in the world on Inferno, it's safe to say. So, although that prowess has been challenged a bit recently, they are still very much up there. Shocks is going looking. He's going to pop himself out. That Molly's going to slow things down. Well read there. Whoever threw that Molly in, Crystal backing himself up and that's going to slow Envious down may even force the rotate here Kiyoshima is going to pop flash himself out straight in towards Arch Smith's covering off quad but nobody to be found Penta had already backed off it's that yeah. crystal that's gone deep on Arch isn't it yeah it's it's. they're happy to give up control of CT Arch and then hold it with the uh, AWP just a little bit deeper by spawn and I don't blame him he can't really withstand much he doesn't have armor and they still have Tabson to kind of complement it when he's on the corner of site near library so hopefully they can deal with it when it comes around they're going to smoke a little bit deeper you can see them just taking their time here Envy just working it around they've left a little bit of a gap but oh just the wrong timing then Tabson will peek out and find Smiths just switching over to that gun and still, a lot of T players in towards the site. Can they stop him? Yes, Tabson again comes in big. This is great play from this man here. Two already down so low. He will be taken out. But look, Stavros still in here. Oh, they're going looking for him. But he's got a PT-50 up close and personal. 5-7, sorry. Might work out well for him. But it was happy that was peeking in there. Crystal might be able to find him. They've got him pinned on site. This is a 4 on 2. MBK low on health as well. But that bomb is down. Penta... Have to go for the take. This is so crucial. Those first shots from Happy could be what it takes. MBK gets one, does get the second in the drop, but Strux finally manages to get him down. But have they got a defuse kit? Yes, they have. Strux gets in there. Strux has the kit, but it doesn't matter. Trouble, he's going to get it anyway. Yeah. But that's going to be an important second round for Penta. Yeah, very oh, important. Close. close enough. But a huge round for them as well. They get to keep the AWP. They get to take the guns away. But it got a little bit close then. MBK, <laughs> yeah. if he had a little bit more health, maybe. I don't know. You never know with that man. He can do just magical things when you put his back to the wall sometimes. But at the moment, we're going to see what they can buy back into. And uh, it looks like a decent buy all around from both sides. Even got the Zeus on shocks just for the crack of it. But still, 3-2. Penta keeping up. But it just feels that it's always going to be in Envious's hand so far. Especially in the early game. They seem to just take so much map control. 
Oh, he's just expended the Zeus. Might have been a uh, misbuy there. We did see somebody buying the Zeus in round one and the pistols uh, the other day. We weren't sure what the exact tactic was. We never did figure it out, but nope. as it was. Oh, Crystal found Smiths, but didn't manage to land the shot. Stavros, meanwhile, does reply. That's happy, though. Opening up the apartments, expecting somebody to come with him. And to be fair, it was Tabson that's there or in mid, but he didn't come looking. But Envy, even though they've gotten two picks, haven't really got too much control to the sites. Tabson probably still in a good place, but that's going to open it up. Keo taking down Tabson is going to alleviate all pressure that could have come down towards A. Trouble now alone in a 1v3, essentially. NBK and Strux are battling it out, and Trouble tries to take the active shot, but Keo was watching and waiting, and read it just so well. A's there, Strux is out of the game, and NBK is probably going to find him. Yeah, he's been kept and pinned here, and they know exactly where he is. The plant going down, NBK is just lurking, ready and waiting, hoping that he's going to try and make the, the run out, but Strux wants to try and save his gun, and NBK is already looking straight in this position. Strux will get the kill. So he should be able to hold on to that one. They're going to come in his direction. Yes, it is. Kiyoshima fancies another pop. Actually, Smith is coming over, sorry. In fact, they're all coming. They're all coming straight for him. They're trying to pincer him in there. Strux, not too sure you're going to be able to hold on to this one. Three people coming at you. It's going to be envious with the round nonetheless. Doesn't manage to. Oh, he does. He got happy. But they're going to pick up that orb anyway. And envious, all the money in the world at the moment. So it doesn't really affect them too much. So Penta, they're the ones that are struggling. Predictably, I think it's safe to say coming into this game. I think you guys at home voted on the website. It's uh, 90 percent, I think it was the uh, the vote. Yeah, 90 percent over at pro.eslgaming.com/csgo. That's where you'll see all the fixtures for Europe and North America. That will happen. And uh, of course, coming up after this one, it will be Hellraisers versus Envious. That will be on overpass. But right now, Penta doing their best to keep Envious at bay. Yeah, and Stavros actually getting a lot of control here. I wonder if Shox is aware. I think he's caught a glimpse of him then working in towards our bedroom. But Stavros will come out on top using that uh, beautiful hot rod MP9. That looks absolutely beautiful um, to do the damage early on. So nice work. A lot of money gamed off the back of it. And a gun missing now for Envious. But can Penta then convert this into a round is the bigger question. If he knows that trouble is there, he just... Can't quite find him. Crystal with this rusty antique shotgun up close. Could do damage if they push on through, but it doesn't seem that it's going to be that way as they keep trying to probe and prod. Happy does get struck down eventually, and that will be the B-side. Rotation coming out here. Tamsin's going to be the man. The flash will keep them at bay. Flashes up MBK nicely. Crystal does get himself that shotty shot onto him. Nice chunk of cash there. But now, with the support, Kiyoshima's going looking. Yeah, Tabson needs to really make this hard work. Deny Envy an easy cross towards sight, so maybe Crystal can do more? No. Kiyo finds a pixel out of place and punishes and will follow up with a second. Now down to two men, Stavros and Trubbly. I don't know if they... I don't know, Stavros has a gun as well. He's got head armor. I'm not sure here, but they're feeling confident enough. Trubbly wants to go for this. Peeks up high towards those corners, just by dark. Stavros working in off banana. The three T players just waiting off at the side. Stavros makes a step, comes in, going to find one. They're going to surely know where the other two are. And well, Smith's already finding trouble. They're going to oh, make it hard work, but happy took down Smith. This is down to 1v1, but time. He doesn't have a defuse game. He gets the kill, but it was just too little too late, sadly. And Stavros might just about make it away with that gun. But still, that got quite close then at the end. Yeah, the team kill's not going to be... Uh... Too helpful, but they've got enough money. It doesn't matter for Envious. They've got the bomb plant. They've got the round. And that's going to keep them in AKs for days. And again, Penta, well, the struggle boss is real for them. They to be fair, though, Envious are starting to look a little bit tighter for cash. Yes, that's true. I mean, when you, you lose everybody, it's uh, it's going to affect your economy a, a certain amount, especially when there's orbs in hand. It does mean they're not going to be able to have an orb for this one, MBK. Maybe just throw it across to uh, Smiths, but I don't think so. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Penta... Match is paused, so... Uh, well, I, I mean, know. yeah, it's, it's it's a simple discussion. Penta, I'm just looking down across there. This is a bit of a already questionable. Stavros, of course, had that AK from the previous round, but... I don't think they're going to be... Is he going to pass it across? Is he going to try and buy for this one? I think Penta are just going to try and eco it, try and hold on to anything. And Envious already with five rounds on the board for C, uh, for the T side. 
but uh, it's a problem for Penta, no doubt about it. Yeah, Severus can just solo a site pretty much, though. You just leave him solo on B. Well, it's what they've been to. doing with Trobley, and I'm wondering yeah, if exactly that's why I was Trubley's wondering whether they're going to pass it to Trobley and put him onto B site. No. Nope, going to keep it on A. Going to probably stack out a little bit towards B, so three players there, and Stab, Ross, and Tabs, and picking up towards A. So a decent spread. Crystal may be waiting to be flashed out. It flash does come in, doesn't matter. MBK connects, and this should be a very clean round. Mm hmm. Trying the fake there, throwing the pistols, <laughs> chucking them towards them. Doesn't work out though because MBK went down there. That may be an AK rescued. Yes, yeah, Strux. Managing to, uh, sorry, get that one. Tabson, not going to be able to hold them at bay with a P USP. And Happy, meanwhile, have found Strux, the final man over. So, as predicted, a simple round against pistols there. 6 2 for Envy. And now the AWP once again in hands of Happy. Yeah, I'm looking for the buy-up now Here coming out from the CTs. Crystal, though, no armor either. So this is something we're seeing <laughs> plaguing the last couple of mm. games, that teams are being so on point with denying any sort of money um, build-up at the moment. You've seen, like, Kenny S only had armor with, like, two of the rounds. Now, Crystal, two times he's had the AWP. I don't... Oh, that's not going to help. Yep. Well, you can already see the burn coming in a little there. Three players stacked up. Happy finds Crystal. And A is now down to one man. That's the biggest issue here. They've only got one player alive. And make it zero. Keo just pushing straight up mid. So confident to hit these shots. And it works. Tabson and Strux are just completely out of place. And MBK might just pick him up. No. He gets denied at least. So they could retain these. But already Happy's getting back. And he's looking. He was looking to see if they were pushing yeah. down then. Expecting something. I think they're going to try and hunt these rifles down as well. Happy certainly wants to uh, go for this one. Even if he's using crystals. Uh, Dragon Lord there. 6-2, make it 7-2 for Envy, because, of course, that bomb plant down there, nothing's going to work out for Penta here as they get hunted down. Do you manage to get a tag on one? They're checking all the angles. Tapson does get himself a double suddenly. Kiyoshima tries to clean up. Strux does get another. It got costly for Team Envious here. Strux should be able to close happy off. He's pushing on pistol. Does manage to get him down in the end. 7-2 was the score nonetheless. 8-2. Probably going to follow this one. So, pistols again for Penta. Yeah, Penta are absolutely skint. They can go for like a dodgy buy they occasionally do with like the Novas and such, but at this point, probably not the best of ideas. And two rounds for Penta, they could <laughs> probably do with a lot more by this point. But, you know, this uh, this sort of uh, marker against this sort of team, you kind of get what you're given. And Envy looking solid, I think that's the thing here. They haven't even looked that pushed yet. The, I mean, this is... This is the disparity in the gulf, actually, I would say, in, in European CS. While, yes, the top is actually very clustered and very close. There's like six teams that have won tournaments in the uh, 2015 already. It is a, a big difference in the fact that once you start moving down that ladder, we've got 12 teams in it, there is a big possibility, especially like for Penta that's literally picked up the roster today, coming up against the number five team in the world. You're not going to win those matches often. If you do, it's pure luck. Yeah, uh, we're seeing it right now anyway. MBK picking up the two to open that side just so well. Like, you're just seeing the synergy that Envious have then. The nice little pop flash over his shoulder, allowing him to pick up the first, following into the second. It, it's just so well timed by Envious. They're such a well oiled machine when everything works out. But this is a good round for maybe Penta. They finally got some armor. They finally have a good setup to work with by wise. You know, Crystal's got armor to finally work with, so he can maybe be a little bit more aggressive with the shots, maybe have a little bit more faith in it. But let's find out what they go for here. He's going to be playing up on the B side this time. Going to head over towards Banana and actually does get the shot towards MBK. So good start. Nice boost towards Quad. And they might be able to make an impact here. Let's see how it works out for them. Happy's going to be checking this one. So it might well be Happy versus Crystal Jewel. Oh, Meanwhile, Strux is flashed out. He's going to get pushed. Kiyoshima opens that one up. And that is Crystal being taken down by Happy. Happy with the AWP on here has been really on Stab point. Ross, great positioning, gets the double, denies the pawn. That's massive. Happy's going to come around the corner. That grenade actually will do the damage. Stavros, no, dodged out of it. Happy switches across to an AK, finds Trobley, but Trobley gets the better of him. And it was a big, important third round in the end for Penta, especially after Envy were starting to look a little overconfident maybe in their style, but maybe that's it's what works for them, honestly. I was going to go back to the fact that Happy is sort of becoming the main AWPer on this map at the moment for them. Smith's normally uh, the man you'd look towards, but Happy's been finding a lot of frags with that AWP so far. And the one thing I, I got really excited seeing is, is how Envious is starting to play in mid as well. Like, I guess the Fnatic style um, pop flash, 
Beautiful. Straight in towards mid. Confident play from Keo picking it up. But look at this play. Straight up second mid. Wrapping round. Fast. Very confident towards quad. But Stavros and Tabson are there. And actually, they do some really good damage. But can they now close out the round? MBK and Shox kind of caught in no man's land. The bomb is certainly being kept tabs on by the CT side. They're aware it dropped. But do they know where it's going to go? Crystal, still well positioned. Oh, the time. Just adjusting around. Smoke comes in. Flash follows. But Strux knows they've not gone CT arch. There's nothing heard on the B side. They're still assuming they're around here. Yeah, Crystal's trying to lead the targeting as well. Stavros does get one, but MBK with a beautiful shot on towards Strux. If he can find another, suddenly it might get a little risky. He's got head armor. He's going to get Crystal coming around the corner. Crystal will manage to land the shot and get themselves <laughs> another important round. Penta starting to claw the way back in here. And now, well, Envious can buy up on this one, but if they lose another, they're in trouble. Yeah, and I really like the way Crystal then used the nade just to kind of bring the M4 close to him. So he could have actually held that quad push if they did come up a little closer because that smoke was in play. But yeah, as you said, uh, money's not great on the T side right now. Um, Smith's going to opt just for that CZ. They do have the mollies as well to boot, so it's an invested round, but it's not a perfect one. Crystal maybe going to flash himself over? No, going to back away on this one as Tabson does get the first. Surprisingly going very aggressive in towards apps. Yeah, that was... Stavros actually going very aggressive. He's pushing out of apps. He's going to try and get around them. He may find Smiths here. Smiths will go down, and that's the bomb covered up. And, and Happy's so low as well. Penta know where exactly is. He had 10 hit points for Happy. The banana push backfired as well. And now they have the bomb in hand. Happy, he's going to get picked off. Stavros is low, but he's done such a great job for Penta here. Completely catching him by surprise, the aggression. Oh, but they've picked MBK. up the bomb. They've managed to sneak around the back of them. MBK is going to get taken around. Kiyoshima with it all to do. See, the thing is, MBK then was in like the perfect spot just if that smoke was a little bit different, but managed to get caught up in the end. But still, as you said, Kyo, anyone in this, he, he might go for a cheeky play out of this one. I'm I think they have sure. no idea where he is at the moment. No, but then again, they're playing so weird, but then again, they're <laughs> going to work it out because Trouble and Stavros worked through B. He's not there. They pushed second mid, so maybe he's around behind them. The game's now certainly up. Kyo. Looking to connect, not going to get it. The first shot wasn't on, and the rest are not going to work with Strux locking down CT Arch. So, this is starting to look a little bit better for Penta. Five to eight, they've got a bit of cushioning to work on. Um, mm -hmm. And to be fair, Envious just being a little bit caught up with their A play at the moment. The slight aggression through apps, just catching them off a bit here and there. But I think the Envious always will have that second gear to go to. What well, I mean... It seems for Envious it was down to their their pure regression. Like you say, that you were talking about almost the fanatic style of rushing straight at mid, then actually backfired on them. And they got caught out. And that's give Penta a couple of rounds to play with here and start to build up their bank. Kirishima, you can see, and the rest of the team having to pick up those Tech 9s. We'll see how that works out. Often, when they do get the Tech 9, you just play that a little bit smoother, a little bit faster, and it, it often comes out on top. But Penta, very much aware of the situation. Cheeky. Flash there from Tabson. I like that one. Bouncing it off the top of quad. He's ready and waiting for this one. Does it again. It's going to catch them all perfectly as well. They're all looking in the opposite direction. Tabson gets one. They know they're all here. They're just going to back away. But he doesn't manage to get away in time. And Envious, they've completely carved open a site. They almost created their own map with those smokes. Just making it close range. Making it hard work for those rifles to come into practice. But Bomb is down. Now Trouble and Strux. Looking for a way back in here, but... It's going to be so hard. Happy's lurking around as well. He could come around the back here. And look at this. It doesn't even need to. MBK finds him first. Now Strux 1v4. Yeah, a couple of players are low, but they're well positioned and doesn't even get the first. Happy takes him down. And Envy just showing how good they can be, even when they're just with the Tech Nines. It's great stuff so far. 10-5. The score possibly for Envious. 9-6. You know what? I think Penta would take that, 9-6, especially after the start, how it was going. Starting to look like a bit of a, a cricket score maybe for Envious, but they managed to claw the way back into this one. We're seeing probably with that shotgun once again going towards B, so he's going to sit around new box, uh, first box, sorry. Stavros with the AWP this time around. That didn't work out for him. Didn't land that opening shot, and Envious, well, they've just carved open B already. They've both gone down already. Yeah, Crystal might be able to make it there first, though. He could maybe catch him crossing. I'm not sure how much by great Ooh. nade comes in. The push through the smoke. He's so blind, but Happy's bullets just connect. And now Happy and Smith to hold on. Bomb going to go down. Shox is so far away from this. It's almost a 2v2 here. 
And Tabson and Stavros looking to get back in. Tabson, great work then holding that smoke push. And now Smith's tucked in towards that dark corner. Just going to be waiting for the push. Shox is still on Banana. So far down, but the flash has come out. Trying to hold back the CT side. Tabson starting to push in. Shots starting to connect. He knows where one is, but the time is ticking. They've got to make the play. Stavros goes down. Smith's kicks into gear, and Tabson is surrounded. Nothing to be done then. Well played in the end by Envious. And a, a, I think a respectable scoreline on the half for Penta. I think we've got to always bear in mind the fact they are up against Team Envious. Yeah. You know, if you're going to walk away with five rounds, that's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. And for a team that's literally come together today. Exactly. Uh, five rounds already. Um, granted, it was on the CT side. Uh, it's pretty good. So, Envious. Could have started off, uh, could have done a lot better, I feel, because they were 7 nil up, mm. I think, at 1.71 up. Um, they're obviously just sorting themselves out. Second half, if you're getting into the way a moment, guys, don't worry. You just stop watching us, wondering why we're on the screen. It's because it's, uh, it's, it's decided to drop out a couple of times, although they're having a little warm up now. So, they. That's not a, that's not a round win, guys. You just <laughs> you see it on your screen. Don't panic. That's not a round win. They are going to be getting back on the way in a moment. You can see everybody. Obviously, we're not in the pistol just yet. We're just uh, sorting themselves out. So, if you have just joined us, you've missed off two games already. The inaugural ESEL EA Pro League. I knew I'd mess it up eventually. 16-8 to Dignitas over Titan was the first match up. Penta took down Massport 16-10. And we are here on the third match, which is on Inferno this time. Those first two games were on cash. Ooh. And now we're back into the pistols. Envious 10-5 up. Yeah, look at Crystal going in for the smoke. Molly. And there was a... Another there, but it was just a decoy. Kind of interesting to see where they put this, but Envious playing up close. is going to negate that. Tabson already goes down, and... Penta my starts to struggle to put this devotion. Happy is still lurking in wait. I don't think he showed his hand. Now he does. Takes down Stavros. Kind of a sitting duck here, but stays alive just long enough to allow for more to rotate in. And Penta are in real dire straits. Oh, but look at this. We've already got Kiyoshima. He's making his way around. Trouble is ready for it, though. Trouble is expecting this one. They are going to catch him out. Oh, God. Immediately head tag straight away and backs off that. Goes down second mid. That's going to keep them. But Penta currently a little bit pinned in here. Trying to force the way up there. Checks tunnels. That's not where Kiyoshima went to. Shock's keeping an eye. Getting the information required and just steps back. Oh. Kiyoshima does manage to get Strox out there. He had next to no health. Still gets the surprise factor. Shock's goes aggressive. That's going to give the information. You can see Team Envious already on the rotate. Yeah, MBK working his way around the back, but... Penta are playing this quite slowly. They want to see if they can still maybe rotate if, if they get a pick on one of the sides. And look at them. They're actually backing away. Shocks if he shoulder peeks, might spot him, but MBK will. He's going to see them working up. He's going to back off. Cheeky little pop flash slows him down. Going to buy him a couple of seconds maybe to adjust, get Smiths around, and MBK, oh, oh stunning connection. Takes down Trouble, but now 2v1. Crystal will have to pull off some magic here. Bomb going down. He's not even going to get the plant. And the CT side of Team Envious will pick up pistol round number two. Very tactical little pistol round there. Definitely... Uh Trying to pen them out. Envious going aggressive early on. Kiyoshima mm. and Smiths picking themselves up some MP9s. MP7 for Happy. I think the SMG rush might be on. But they're going to be up against Tech 9s from Penta. Three of those picked up. P250s as well. We'll see where they go with this one. Often we've seen this second round by working out. Can Penta try and get something from it? But look at the different investment. Team Envious investing a lot more money in round two, even though it's still like SMGs, P90s, in comparison to what the CT side brought when it was Penta sitting there, you know, with just the Novas and such. So certainly a heavier investment. You'd assume it'd work out better, but actually, Stavros does find Smiths. But it's a 2 for one exchange so far, and the CT side are still in control here. And look at Happy and MBK pushing straight up. Oh, they're going straight through. Happy pushing through the flames. Gets one. Can he get a second? No, not going to work out, but Kiyoshima is there. And they just charge down. B's and open. that's actually opened up B, yeah. And they're completely the opposite side. You can see Kiyoshima. He's on the foot race. He's coming behind them. They should be able to get the bomb plant in there. The cross. Oh, oh he's faked slowed. it. Nice. P90. He's got him. Pins him down. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And Crystal shocks his... Trying to read this one. I'm pretty sure he's read it well as well. He's going famous towards him. P90, Crystal's trying to make tracks. He's already picked up three in a round. Shox is going to find him. And does manage to save Envious. His blush is there against Crystal. Crystal, I love that little cheeky fake smoke. You know, on the cross, just hits it and then waits. 
occasionally the perfect timing for it as well. But regardless of the individual play, Envious once again coming out on top. 12 to 5 now. Starting to look quite strong. T-Side are really down to a very basic eco, literally uh, an, an actual eco for once. One flash rather than, you know, this mixed bag by of Tech 9s. It's a couple of P250s, but nothing much. So this should be 13 to 5. But then we're going to get that gun round that's oh so important here. Well, MBK choosing to go back to the MP7 as well. Let's see how that goes for him. Smoke is going to get pushed through, actually. So Penta pushing through the smoke in mid. That grenade will be not doing a great deal. doesn't matter when you're keeping people at range with rifles versus no armor at all. You're generally not going to come out on top. And Envious do only lose the one there. 13-5 is the score. As predicted, Envious looking stronger in this one. 90% of you guys thought this was going to be going their way. I think just a few uh, loyal Germans were voting for Penta myself. Maybe. You know, Penta had, you know, everyone was surprised. You know, people put their faith in him. <laughs> Penta was surprised in a couple of majors. I, I definitely remember at DreamHack uh, 2014 winter, they, they surprised a lot of people by even reaching that top eight. Yeah, they, they occasionally have, you know, good games. You know, they, they perform very well. But then again, as we said before, Envious almost on a different level. But Crystal looking for that opener very close to if uh, he just kind of crested the corner a little Could have caught MBK then, but... This is a big round for both sides. Crystal again has to go without armor. It's not the perfect purchase. MBK is sticking with an MP7, despite the fact he knows he's up against AKs now. I mean, he's he's playing it close on B, so it would work out for him. Kiyoshima on this boost at quad. Stamros already does find shock, so that's A looking quite vulnerable. They're, they're going to try and go for this, but Kiyoshima and Smith still in position. Kyo. Backing up to site, they've given him time to do so as well, allowing Happy to rotate. This is terrible. Now two left. They've kind of allowed Envious to regain control after that great pick. And look at this. Strikes last man alive, swiftly swept aside by Keo. And that's just another point where Envious is so good. Just keeping themselves in control. I was questioning why Penta let them do that. Mm. Well, 14-5. That was the uh, question and answer session, I feel, from Penta. That was their chance at rifles. Next time, we'll be at match point. Are they going to force Galils? Does a Galil come out here from Tabson? Everybody else, yep, there we go, AKs. This is a bit of a shoddy buy coming out from everyone. They realize the situation they're in. Just buy what you can, boys, and see what you can do with it. Yeah. And, well, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Happy's gone deep. Not too deep on beat, but deep enough that he might be able to catch someone off guard at Sandbags. And it, it works in the first pistol, so maybe he's confident enough to do it and... See Tabson looking like he's going to check, and he will spot out the feet. Oh, that was a little <clears> bit too close, but Tabson will get the kill, oh get dear. the gun. But the Molly is going to be just, oh, he's at, just the at the tip corner. of his feet. Yeah. Yeah. Just missing it, and MBK frustrated not able to land those shots in the corner either. Tabson able to use that wall. Smoke's <laughs> going to uh, get him out of there, I think, rescue the AK. Yeah. And Tabson will get out of there. So they've actually rotated, gone 2 2 split. Smiths, I think it is, that's come across to help out. And Pets are actually looking like they might try and set up for this one. There's the flashes. They're going to push through the smoke. It shocks, actually. He's got himself on porch. Yeah, he may be able to catch waited. them off. Yes, he will. MBK with him, and they pick two off, choosing immediately to back away. But look at Envious. They're wrapping around. Yeah, Smiths and Keo are going to be waiting around this corner, and they're going to mow them down. Nice one from Keo. Not enough bullets to finish it off. And now Crystal, last man standing, dealt with by Smiths. And that's Team Envious onto match point. This is the game we expected to see. Finally, one of the bigger teams stepping up to the plate and performing how they should. Yeah, this is the results you would expect a, a top team to perform against, uh, I wouldn't say a lower team, a, a lower team in the league, let's put it yeah. that way. Um, uh, if you were going to call Team Envious in that top five, the tier one teams at Penta would be classed as a tier two, I think it's safe to say. As it stands, Team Envious very much... Looking to take this one, take it home. Happy gone into the same <laughs> spot once again. I like, wouldn't it, do it again. It will work. <laughs> but this is the first time we've seen Crystal actually taking down Keo, so that's a big impact. But sure, you're going to have to check for Happy again, Tabs, and I'm sorry. This time, hopefully, it's a little cleaner. And it is. He gets away with 56 HP and no Molly to keep him pinned. And BK is like, God damn it. This time, he hasn't got uh, the wraparound support because they lost that man up mid. Which means as soon as that molly burns out, they may well be looking to push on here. We'll see what Envious do about this one. 
KBK does at least still have a smoke, so he Sh can buy a little bit of time. Shox is actually going aggressive in apartments. He's going looking towards second mid. He may actually find. I think it's, uh, yeah, Strux that was there, and Shox does get taken down. And now that's actually opened up A site. I wonder if they're going to go for the rotate. Well, yep. it's going to be Smiths. It's going to be on the front line there. Orp to hand. Smoke comes in. Perfectly blocks him off. He's going to back out a little deeper. Maybe watch the cross towards site. Flash puts him into his library. He's been corralled around this map now. Catches a glimpse of Strux, though. Does take him down. And the bomb's yet to actually go into play. Here we go. Finally gets itself on towards site. Crystal taking his time then. Tabs on getting himself up towards Graveyard. And the rest just setting up as best they can. But MBK is just around this corner. I wonder if he's going to suspect where trouble he is. It's footsteps. Elephant coming through, trouble ready for that one. Smith does manage to answer. And I think this is just simply going to be holding on to the rifle. Well, he's got himself three. Just peek his way back in there, see if he can get any more guns out of the hands of Penta. Remember, they've been on a losing streak a couple of rounds here, so they want to hold on to everything <laughs> they can, which is why they're not hunting Smiths down. Smiths, meanwhile, has got a heck of a lot of money in the bank, so uh, he's in no worries at all. So... 15-6, uh, 15-5, sorry, for Penta, for Envy, I'm all over the place. It is 15-6. I was, I was thinking, the bomb's gone off. Why is that round not ticked up? I'm, I'm just questioning <laughs> myself there, thinking it should be 15-6. And Penta, hang on. Hang on once again, but I don't think it's quite possible. I'd love, I'd love to build up a, a beautiful, mythical story that Penta could somehow work their dream work of getting back into this one, but you feel it's just a ticking time bomb waiting for MV to close this game out. Well, let's see. Happy this time doesn't want to go aggressive banana. Maybe MBK will. Uh, the molly already coming out. You can see they're actually committing a molly just to that spot now. So nice, uh, nice work from Happy, I guess. Good little flash there towards Banana, giving MBK the aggressive peek, and he does find trouble. So already, big impact plays. Shox follows up in apps, and now already Penta adjusts down to mm. three. This has become extraordinarily hard from just those initial plays from Envious. Mm, I believe the dream is dead, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tabson's gone down as well. Just Crystal and Strux to keep Penta in this one. Nevertheless, I think 1-1 one, one in the day. I think they'll be happy with that, changing a lineup on, on the same day. So... They won't be too upset about this loss against Envious, especially when it's on Inferno as well. Strux does manage to get one in there, but it's going to have to be an ace for him. MBK, if only he knew he was lined up. Oh, if only he had pulled the trigger a couple of seconds earlier. He's just going to get picked off here. Slowly, excruciatingly taken down at cart. And there it is. Envious will come out on top. Six